Nicole, how are we doing? I dated somebody briefly for about two months. I got pregnant. I told him very early on when I was about two weeks along. And his response was, I had to get an abortion. There was no other option. And um, I initially considered it out of fear for about one or two days. Um, and I had asked him for support, and he just said, you know, you have my support, and it's to get an abortion. So I knew. And so I decided not to get one, and I'm now five months pregnant. And I don't know if I should tell him now or tell him after the baby is born. Um, I really don't know how to approach this. So. Hmm. Um, number one, I'm, I want to applaud you for following your heart on this one. And I want to applaud you for doing the hardest thing possible. Thank you. Are you going to have a girl or a boy? I'm having a girl. Have you already thought of a name? Um, I've thought of a million names. <laughs> Very cool. No, My wife says you can't name something, somebody until you see it see them so um we'll see so i won't won't, you don't have to disclose the name on the air here um so here's my thought i think he's got a right to know okay i think he needs to know that he's about to be a dad because he's got some responsibilities he's got some financial responsibilities he's got some or he needs to sign all that stuff away um through official channels but I do believe that he has a right to know that he's got a baby coming into the world. That baby has a right to know that he's got a mom and a dad. Even if they're not together, that baby needs the love of both of those parents. And so I think there's, there's, um, it's the right thing to do. Is this guy going to be an idiot and throw a temper tantrum and be unsafe? Or is he going to be all in? What, what, what is your opinion? What do you think he's going to do? I really have no idea. Okay. Um, I really thought he was a great guy. He's a great father to his other two children. And this is just not in his life plan. And I think he's just being very selfish. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was really a surprise to me that he reacted this way. So I don't feel like I, I can read his response to this. Okay. And I'm obviously very deeply hurt by this. So I don't want my feelings to um, get in the mix of this and make things matters worse. I really want to have a good co-parenting relationship so i guess i'm just really nervous about bringing this up with him but all right. also, y'all are still together are you no okay. no we, I, we pretty much broke up at that point when he told me to get an abortion so y'all just hooked up for a few weeks essentially and then you got pregnant this yeah it was about two months of dating okay okay yeah i would set up a coffee with him please for all for the love of 2021 all 2021 is depending on you not doing this one thing, okay? Okay. Nicole, don't text him this stuff. Okay. Don't email him this stuff. Have a meeting with him in a restaurant in person, and obviously he'll see you and he'll know right away, right? I don't, well, I don't know if you're showing in five months. I'm looking. I don't, not yet. Not, <laughs> not yet? Okay. Well, let him know that you're going to be a dad and you decided to keep the baby and that just what you told me. You've seen him be a great father. You've seen him be plugged in with his own kids and you were hurt by his initial response, his initial demands, if you will. Um, but you're keeping this baby. You want to co-parent with him. You want him in this baby's life and that you need him to step up and do the right thing because he's having a baby, whether he wants to or not. Okay. Do you feel at Thank peace with that? Much. Do you feel, you feel good with that response? Yeah, I you know, I typically trust my own intuition and I was really torn on this one as to whether or not I should just lay low and let him find out. I really didn't know how to approach this one, so I really appreciate you um taking my question. Oh, you I bet. Do. I appreciate I you calling. Better. Is this your first is this your first baby? No, I'm a single parent to an 8-year-old. So that was My initial fear is, you know, raising another kid as a single parent, and that's why I initially considered abortion, even though it was against my beliefs. Mm -hmm. But I knew I just couldn't make that decision out of fear. Good deal. Have have you told your eight-year-old? Yeah, she's very excited. Very cool. So I'm going to give you one hint about your eight-year-old that a counseling professor, a mentor of mine, passed along, and it was magic in my house. Okay? Okay. This comes from Dr. Aretha Marbley, who's one of the smartest minds I've ever been able to um, learn from. And she said, start referring to 
the unborn baby as her baby to your eight-year-old sister. Okay? Okay. So, or say your baby is really, or your little sister is really going to love meeting you. Your little sister is going to need a lot of support. I, your mommy, am going to need you to step up big because your little sister, this baby we're having, and what that language does is kids are desperate for ownership. They're desperate for participation, and they get months of this apprehension. You can put her hand on your belly and let her feel it when she starts kicking. All those cool things, but she will begin to take ownership. And you hear a lot about sibling rivalry, and I lost my mom because she had a new baby. and all. In my house, I, I, I rolled my eyes and said, all right, I'll try it. It was magic. It was magic. Okay. And my daughter has ended up with the coolest, best big brother you could imagine. Do they fight like morons? Yes. Are they loud and screechy? And all? Yes. But I tell you what, that, that ownership that my son feels over his little sister is really something to behold so it's beautiful um and so that's that's your that's your other free advice right you didn't even call for that one but yeah dad's got a right to know and dad needs to have an opportunity to stand up and do the right thing and i think by letting him letting him know that you believe in him you've seen him do it once you've seen him do it twice and that you want to be a great co-parent with him you want him involved in this young girl's life um, give him the opportunity to do the right thing and if not, then there may be legal obligations here, he's, but he's got a financial responsibility. But hopefully, bigger than just the financial responsibility, is he's got the human, the integrity, the fathering responsibility, being a dad to this little girl.